welcome to yet another episode here at Real in Films. And today we're going to be reviewing the film Cellar Door. And I want to thank um, the amazing people that work with me to be able to provide you this review early time. So I really do want to um, go ahead and mention to you guys, if you guys have not yet um, subscribed to our YouTube channel or liked this video, pause the video do that thing and then let's move forward in regards to um the review and as well if you guys want to follow me it's easy go to instagram and look for cinema dad um pr like that you guys can follow me and have exclusive content there as well and today like i mentioned we're going to be reviewing the film cellar door that it has been uh directed by vaughn Stain, written by Sam Scott and Laurie Evans Taylor. And um, this movie's uh, main cast is Scott Speedman, Jordan Brewster, and as well, we do have um, Lawrence Fishburne. And what is this story about, guys? Let's go ahead and figure it out. Looking for a fresh start after a miscarriage, a couple find themselves being gifted the house of their dreams with one caveat. They can never open the cellar door. Whether they can live without knowing triggers shocking consequences. So this is your typical, um, I would say, uh, thriller, mystery. Um, you can say that it's as well a psychological um, thriller as well. And I'm really excited of this film. This film was really good and great. The reason why I said good and great is because... I want to, you know, like, ah, it's good, but it's great. Um, I got to say that starting off with the story, we are so used to um, thriller films, like giving us like the same situation, even though in this film, we do have somewhat of the same situation, but it's a little bit different. It gives you a little bit much more of a momentum when you see what happens in, um, in the end. I'm not going to give you guys full details. Because I want you guys to um, see the film in theaters. It's going to be releasing on November 1 as well, VOD and digital. So what can I say? So like I mentioned, so this couple go through a miscarriage, trying to reset their lives and start a new life. Um, in their presence of buying a new house, the, they go ahead and find Emmett. Um, they, a realtor tells them like, hey, um, I can present to you Emmett. Emmett has a very beautiful house and you guys can check it out Emmett goes ahead does like every um household owner and uh you know talks about life talks about um things that happened in the past talks about present and talks about family and he goes ahead and offers them the the house but with that caveat like i mentioned it's do not open the cellar door that's as soon as you open the cellar door um, the contract will be gone and you have no new house. So you have C C Sarah and John. Sarah played by Jordan Brewster. You have seen her in Fast and the Furious in between other films and series. And Scott Speedman plays John. So this couple start living the good life. You know, having a great um, marriage, having a great lifestyle, trying to change their life once again, pass the page and move forward. And this is where the film in story-wise gets interesting because one of the things that are very important from the film is the quotes from the dialogue. There's a lot of quotes on the dialogue that you are like, why did this character say this? Why did Emmett do this or why did this other character said this and then throughout the film more and more build up will happen till the end when we reach the end it's like where you're like okay I didn't expect that because there is somewhat of a twist I'm not going to say like a major twist that will be like bombastic or something but there is a good twist in the end and it's very very interesting and not only in the end throughout the film um things happen that you're like whoa this is so interesting so 
the in story wise cellar door is phenomenal i really did like the story i loved the script because i didn't feel that the that the script was bland i did not feel that the script was forced <clears throat> And as well, one of the other things that I liked is that you don't have those silent moments. The film keeps moving forward quickly, you know, and I don't mean quickly like, oh, you open and close your eyes and the movie's done. What I mean in terms of quickly is that the pace continues in a high into high gear and it's really good. That's one of the things that I loved about the story and the film. Now, in regards to the cast, one of the people that I loved the most from the film is Jordana Brewster or Jordan Brewster, however you guys want to, to call her. Being the fact that we are so used to seeing her in um, Fast and the Furious movies, as well she has done other work, because obviously, you know, she, she wants to be a well-renowned actress. But in this case, this film just... She takes it up a notch in in her character, um, Sarah, and it's amazing. And I'm not going to lie as well, Scott Speedman and the little screen time that Lawrence has. Again, Lauren and his deep voice and his mysterious um, act, like always, um, takes you to to another level of greatness to... To the story right but i do gotta say that in terms of like the characters and everything the film brings so much to the table with their acting and not only with their acting it's like they really do sell you the story they take the story and make it theirs. And it's something that I really loved about that because that is really not, I'm not going to say really rare, but it's not all the time that you feel like, yes, they are enjoying um, the film and they are enjoying everything. So it's really great. And one of the other great things is that the film keeps you obsessed with what's going to happen next. And that's why I say that when you reach to the ending, you're like, okay, what's going to happen next? And you're like, hello, what's going to happen next? And you have to wait and see and see what happens. So, you know, now. This is one of the things that I really do want to say. If you guys want to know more detailed information, we will have, um, we do have the interview with uh, the director, and we're going to post it here in the cards so that you guys can go to that interview and know more about the film and what inspired him to bring this film to flourishing. But in all, Cellar Door is a must watch. At least it's not like, I'm not going to say that this is a, um oscar worthy film um i do say that uh, the performance of all of the actors were phenomenal the story just i just love the story so much and i think that the highlight of this film is jordana brewster i think that she is the one that took this film and took it home she did a home run with this film and i do gotta say that Cellar Door, if you get to see it on your favorite streaming platform or if you want to rent it or buy it or see it in theaters, go ahead and do it. Do it because it's worth it. Now, for all of you that have not yet watched the film, tell me when you watch the film, tell me in the comments below what you think about the film. And as well, tell me, do you think that Jordana Brewster deserves a better chance to um, have a bigger role in a film? Now, Tell me in the comments below your thoughts. And if you guys have not yet subscribed to Real In Films, go ahead and subscribe right now for more content in the future. We have videos from Monday through Friday, so don't miss out. Every time at noon, we have a new video for you. It could be a review. It could be an interview. It could be many things. <laughs> so don't forget um, to check us out. And I hope you guys have an amazing, great rest of your day. And stay safe. And I will see you guys in the next one.